Mm. Mm -hmm. You know, it was interesting. I took a look at some of the data. We obviously now have a, a new uh, suicide hotline uh, in this country that you can text, that, that you can call three simple digits, 988. And I know that the number of calls in has doubled in just those two months, Liz. Do you think this is really going to be a game changer for so many people? Absolutely. It's the source of support when, they're, when our kids, teens, adults are not feeling like they have anywhere to turn or it's a certain time of the day where they don't feel comfortable turning to anyone and having someone objective and neutral to speak to, I think is a huge support. And again, another level of support that is available. And it's, I'm so happy that it's there and it's a different number and it's, it's there for our kids and teens to reach out. Yeah, especially because you can text. And I feel like a lot of times, you know, having to use your words, having to say it out loud seems so scary and daunting. Mm -hmm. But, you know, being able to text. Vanessa joining the conversation saying mental health is a thing that needs to be addressed. Most jobs offer paid time off to try to prevent burnout. No different than offering students the same thing. Their minds are still developing. And it's important to make sure they don't have too much stress, Cara. Oh, absolutely. So... I talked about this in the beginning, taking care of our mental health is part of our physical health. It needs that same nurture, care, and feeding. And that means we need a break. Our minds need a break. They need rest. And so taking a mental health or a mental well-being day just to turn off, maybe get outside nature, to rest, get some additional sleep, is exactly what our young adults need, what we as adults need, and changing the conversation, tying our mental health to our physical health is super important. And it's interesting because uh, one of the moms out there, Chris, wrote in saying, there's been times I didn't send my kids because they said they didn't feel good, but I knew it was just their way of saying that they were stressed mentally. And, you know, it's interesting to, to try to have that conversation with your kids or to recognize if they're not having the conversation, what are they really telling you in, in their other ways of communicating? So up next, we are also going to talk about social media's impact. We're going to talk, talk about the effect that online interactions are having on our kids and their mental health. Now, if you or someone you know is struggling or in crisis, there is help out there. We were just talking about that number. You can call or you can text is 988.